Navigating through the energies of New Earth is not an easy process and can become extremely overwhelming at times. As we all ascend into higher frequencies, we're all being guided to embrace our own unique divine pathway, a pathway created in the vibration of love. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcott, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within and understand the message being shared even greater. When you live in the frequency of love, there is no competition, so Carrie will be joined regularly by fellow soul family members who will bring forth wisdom and knowledge she knows should be shared on a global level. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners to see what message Spirit wants to share with all those listening in for the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, come and join us now on Vibe Nation Radio, here on the IOM Radio Network. And welcome to another edition of Vibe Nation Radio, where today in beautiful southern Ontario, it is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful crystal blue skies, and I'm really able to see the beauty within all around us. It's about, this show is going to be dedicated to the 20s out there that are listening in, and I just want you guys to all understand that no matter where you are in your journey, you are such a beautiful beacon of light. And right now, we're being called to work with Gaia as well as the higher self and the cosmos. And I felt it was really important um, because spirit was up my butt to do this show. And you just know that here on Vibe Nation Radio, I kind of go with the flow with spirit. Whatever spirit wants to talk about is really what I will talk about. And this week, I was guided to speak with those that are in divine union or better known as the Twin Flames. And it's just... I just want every twin flame that's listening in right now to take a deep breath and realize that it doesn't matter where you are within your twin journey. It doesn't matter if you're with twin or not. What matters is the love that lays inside of you. And you need to know that you are one of the most powerful souls on this planet. And we are here to help to shift the, 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 the vibrations of Gaia into the frequency of love. And it's because we vibrate at a much higher frequency than the average collective person. And when you're thinking about what we're trying to create on Earth right now, we are trying to create heaven on Earth. And I'm going to explain in the show how you, the twins, are truly the bridge between heaven and Earth. It's not like we're walking over a bridge into a new Earth. We are bringing heaven to Earth. And you, my twinnies, are a big part of this. And as well as any light worker on this planet, it's just not just with regards to the twin flames. Right now, Gaia... And God needs us more than ever to come together in unity, knowing that every single light worker on this planet is here to help shine the light, to allow this lower vibration of 3D yuckiness, this duality of, you know, it's win or lose, wrong or right, of this person or that person. We need to let go of this and realize that we need to come together as one. And that's why I've been guided to do the show. I want you to understand that you were so important in the bigger thing, the bigger thing, like the bigger picture here. And too many twins put themselves down. They put them, their twin down, and they get caught up with the whole ego, which we call the boys, you know, the running and chasing back and forth. You're on crazy land. You get pulled into this. But a lot of people don't realize that as twins, you are being also pulled into the vibrations of Gaia of what's taking place. Because here in the bigger picture, what are we here to do? Again, we're, how to help, we're here to help Gaia shift into the frequency of love and help all of humanity. And we are basically big, giant hoovers, vacuum cleaners, and we're sucking up the dark to help transmute it into the light. So I just, I, if you're a twin, please know you are so special, just like everyone on this planet is. But you need to come and stop allowing the boys to make you think otherwise because all twins are always together. Okay, this is an illusion that we create because of the 3D reality that it's not like when you chose to come down here and reincarnate as twin flames 
that God divided your soul and cut it in half and gave one half soul and one the other soul. The soul is already intact together as one. However, the soul has been separated into two different vessels. Okay, so, you know, as easy as it is to say you and twin are one, you always have been, you always will, you really need to stop and think about that. <laughs> because so many twins on this journey, because I do work with twins on a global level, and so many of them get caught up about twin, what's twin doing? Why is twin doing this? Why is twin doing that? In the bigger picture, it truly does not matter what twin is doing in their reality. They're doing exactly what they need to do to be able to move forward with their sacred journey back to one. This is a feeling game, my friends. And when you start to understand there's more to the twin journey than just being with twin, understanding there's a mission behind all of this. And if you and twin are going to come together and reunite, wouldn't you like to come together and reunite and stay together? Now, so many people jump on the gun and they jump into this journey and they want to contact twin. They, they reach out to them and, hey, I can say I'm guilty of this, but I didn't announce to the twin that he's my twin. I went around song and dance type of thing, but I wanted, to under, I wanted him to understand what was going on, which all of us want to do when we start to open up to this. We want twin to know what's going on and you want to be able to help them through it, but yet you really still haven't have grasp on really what's happening with yourself because you're doing this song and dance with soul. You're rewiring and you're realigning and you're tapping into soul memories. And again, this is a process. It's not a race. So, you know, think about the five layers of energy that we have. We have the spiritual energy. We have the mental energy. We have the emotional. We have the etheric. And we have the physical. So when twin of you are activated and that energy is activated, you have two different vessels, two different bodies. But what's happening is the soul is recognizing the other side of the soul, and these energies start to intertwine with one another. However, you cannot crawl into twins' body or vessel and control what they're thinking. This is just simply not possible. Please understand, this is energy work. So as you're working on self and you're raising the vibrations within soul, you are also shifting vibrations within twin, but they need to be able to work through it themselves. And there's, you know... There's an importance to why this is taking place. And, and Spirit just wants you all to know that we are about to walk into the great global energy shift. And it's being set off by what happens at the election in the U.S. But my channel is referring to this as a global election, that every single person on this planet will be affected in an energetic way by whatever takes place. And it doesn't matter who wins. You meet, must. They hold that love within you and radiate out within your home and then radiate out to your family and friends and to your community, knowing that this is what you are here to do. You're, help, you're here to help shift the vibrations of love. So don't get caught up in the circus that is happening right now. Because, again, when you think about it, it doesn't matter who wins. We need to come together and make change for all of humanity. And the twins are exactly where they need to be. On this planet, they are with whatever they are with, if they're with twin, if they're not twin, whatever stage you're at, do know that you are exactly where you need to be. And spirit can't say this strong enough. They don't want you to feel that you're not as important as somebody else because of what you're dealing with on your physical reality with regards to your twin journey. You are dealing with that specifically so that you can help transmute the lower vibrations that are very similar to what you're dealing with. Okay, so think about this. Okay, I don't really like to use numbers, but I'm going to use it in this, in this case. If there is 144,000 lightworkers twins on this planet, that means that each twin is responsible for transmuting energies for 50 million people. Think about that. Okay, so you wonder why this is a little difficult at times, because not only are you clearing your soul and shifting the lower vibrations on many different energetic levels, but you are also dealing with the flip of energies that I'll get into after the commercial break. With twin, you're also dealing with the lineage energy that goes back lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, and now you throw the global energy on top of that, and that's truly why we're here. So that's why Spirit is saying, you know, I wanted to come forward to say to all of you that, you know, you are needed so much by Gaia and God right now. And we're all being tested. This is truly the first true New Earth um, mission that any of us have ever gone through. And we've never been through this before. 
So there is no guidebook to guide us through what's about to take place. We have to know and have faith that the universe is working with us. And this is where we're creating the heaven on earth, that, you know, we're not walking over a bridge into a new planet. You know, heaven on earth is being created here, that we have the ability now because Gaia is in a fourth dimensional vibration. So we want to work with Gaia because she vibrates higher than what the most people on this planet that are on Gaia because they're in 3D, most of them. Then we got the 4D vibrations and the 5D vibrations. Well, the 5D vibrations is where spirit hangs out. So see yourself as the bridge between spirit and earth. This is the heaven on earth and how you can channel that energy through and work with Gaia to be able to transmute the lower vibrations that are about to take place when this energy shift takes place tomorrow with the election. Because there is going to be a tsunami that is created by whoever wins. So, again, don't get involved in this circus. Remember, not my circus, not my monkeys. This is a very big thing we talk about all the time. Okay, this is about you staying grounded and knowing that you are playing such an, an important role in this history, like this is a historical time in the universe. So if you are part of this historical time because you came here as a twin to do this, remember that what you are experiencing, where you are in your twin journey is exactly where you need to be. Let go of the monkeys and stop beating yourself up. Feel the love that you and twins share, knowing that you are going to help humanity on such a huge level. When this energy shift starts to take place, because when this energy shift goes off, billions of people on this planet are going to begin to wake up. And we all know of those who are awake, when you wake up, what happens? You go to a very dark place, and then all of a sudden you start to see clarity, and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I used to say this, or I can't believe I believe this. And this is where the self-doubts kick in. And guess what? Every single one of you listening, all the light workers on this planet are now going to be having to step in and step into mission to be able to help these people see the light through the darkness. So again, take a deep breath. We're about to go to commercial break. And we get back, we'll get deeper into all what this all means to all of us. Stay tuned. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Have you been searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your hosts, Elito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland, on Share International Radio for thought-provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. How to be a great dad in 15 seconds. Bike ride, go fish, walk in the park, phone call, milkshake, play catch, picnic, fly a kite, tell jokes, laugh, talk, read a story, tell a story, bumper car, swing set, bowling, pillow fight, cut loose, stay tight. Whew. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Today, I am dedicating my show to all those in Divine Union, better known as Twin Flames. And Spirit just wants me to step back a moment here and talk about how this is a sacred journey back to one that is very unique to you and Twin alone. That no two twin, um, no two sets of twins on this planet will encounter the same journey. We are all here to have 
common denominators where we're going to be intertwining certain energies. A lot of it has to do with abuse. But again, we are here as the twins to be able to clear the lower vibration. So we're breaking the 3D templates of the fear, the worry, the doubt, the pain, the sorrow, sorrow, the, the list goes on. And we're to crack that and shatter it to be able to show the vibration of love that the love that we are all capable of channeling through ourselves and to create the love with our lives that we are going through these experiences so that when the masses start to wake up, we can say, oh, yeah, been through that. Oh, yeah, been through that. And again, this is about experience that how can you possibly explain to somebody how to go through something if you have not experienced it yourself? You can't. So again, it's just like the twin train, sorry, the twin flame journey that someone who's not a true authentic twin truly cannot speak about the twin journey because they don't understand it because they're not living it. It's just like a medium trying to, you know, teach mediumship, sorry, a person who is not a medium teach a mediumship class, how long do you think it would take those that are in the class to realize the person teaching it truly is a medium themselves? It's the same thing with a twin journey. It doesn't take too long to figure out if somebody is actually speaking truth of journey or not. And this brings me into the section where spirit really wants you guys to understand that you need to listen to what the soul is telling you. Okay. You are only to take in that what resonates with your soul and to let go of the rest. And, you know, if you're listening to this radio show and nothing I'm saying resonates with you, then please just change the channel. Don't lower your vibrations and say, well, this she doesn't know what she's talking about and blah, 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 blah. Too many people feed into this. And if we twins are here to help raise the vibrations of Gaia, why would anybody want to put down another person who's trying to share the light with other people to help guide the way? It just doesn't make sense. And this is where, you know, as twins, when we start to shift into the higher frequencies and we start to tap into the 5D energies, so many twins can get caught up in 5D in la la and foo foo land, and they forget to channel the energies down into the 3D reality and put some common sense to what it is that they're actually vibing on. Because too many people get caught up in this fairy tale romance. And sure, the twin journey can be very magical at times, but it's not an easy journey and it's not for wimps. Okay, this is a journey of self and truly finding out who you are at a soul level. And in order to do that, you have to work on the layers of energy that need to be cleared. Because again, the more blissful the, the, the sorry, the more clear the vessel, the more blissful the union will be. Because how many of you have actually gone and connected with twin in the physical and all of a sudden something takes place and one of you runs. This is the runner and chaser stage that many people call this. I call it the workers. Simply because one energy is too powerful than the other and one twin repels the other twin and they go running for the hills. And again, I didn't understand this at the beginning because I was in the runner chaser stage running back and forth like and in all these crazy stages, but I've been through it. And now I am here, you know, eight years later because I've been on my twin, the twin flame journey since 2008, that I'm illuminated now, where everything just is, and I understand that twin has twin's reality. Twin is doing what twin needs to do. Twin is in mission the way twin is supposed to be in mission. And if twin and I are supposed to reunite and come into union, I have faith that it will take place. You know, this is where we have to have faith and believe in you know, living in the moment, you know, we have to embrace the unknown. And Gaia, right now, on an energetic level, we are supposed to live in the moment. But how many people are living in the past, or they're living in the future, and they're becoming anxiety spun monkeys. And this is a global energy that's taking place because of the anxiety that's building up on a global level about what's about to take place with what I call the global election. Because this anxiety, we want to be able to control that so that people don't go off the rockers on an energetic level that we know as the twins if we can keep ourselves balanced and ensure that we keep our feminine energy and our masculine energy balanced out, meaning that you're channeling your 5D intuition um, through your 5D um, vibrations and you're channeling them through into your 3D physical body. So you're bringing in higher self and making common sense and logic with what you're getting. So again, you're not going off into foo-foo land or you're not becoming too masculine and getting pulled in to these lower vibrations because this is a month where the rising of the masculine is taking place. And this is the rising of the masculine on a global level once again. It's not just within the twin community. 
Now, remember, if twin is a male and holding the masculine energy, they're getting double dipped. Those that are male that are holding the feminine energy, they are learning how to balance that male energy of I am man, this is what man must do, this is the way man must feel, that they are trying to balance that with the feminine, which is we are love, it's all about feelings, all about the love. And those of us that do not have the male body or the masculine energy do know you do have masculine energy within you. So if you're a if you're the spiritual energy, which is the female energy, please know you do have masculine energy within you. It's just not as powerful as the masculine energy. Okay, so again, when you see the masculine energy rising on this planet, here we are seeing the fear, the, the pain, the sorrow, all this arguing, like all this dark negative energy, but it's being released so the masculine energy can be what the true masculine energy is meant to be. It's to be a balance of logic in the frequency of love. And, you know, spirit wants us to understand that every single person on this planet, once again, especially the twins, play a very important role with what's about to take place. And that too many people are still living in the duality vibrations. And this is going to slow down the process. So we need to be able to see this as one, that we're all coming together, that there is no wrong or right. Everything just is. And we just need to ensure that we are the bridge of heaven and earth to be able to bring these vibrations here on Gaia during this very pivotal time in universal history. So um, Spirit is saying here that, you know, let's go a little bit deeper about this heaven on earth. Okay, so as a twin, we are shifting our vibrations from 3D, 4D into 5D. Now, remember, we live, our soul lives in a human vessel, which lives in 3D reality. So we will always be connected to 3D vibration. Is it, it's, it comes down to how long do you live in those 3D vibrations? Okay, you are human. If all of a sudden you need to grieve because someone you love has passed away, then of course you're going into 3D vibrations because you must grieve. But you don't want to live there for five, 10 years. You want to be able to go through the grieving process and find the love that you shared with them. And then if you grieve again, you go back again. We go up and down. Okay, we just don't want to live in the 3D vibrations. And Spirit is saying here that as we're creating this heaven on earth, you as the twin volunteered to be the bridge, that you have the ability to go into higher frequencies, into 5D, where so many of us have such a beautiful connection with twin. It might not be so beautiful in 3D reality, but in 5D, it's beautiful. So vibe on that vibration, vibe on the vibrations of love, so that the universe can actually receive those vibrations from you and channel them back through you so that they can go through and connect with Gaia. Okay, so just take a few moments here and just go with me on this. Just visualize yourself right now, growing roots from whatever you're sitting on. It could be, you could be standing, you could be sitting down, but you're growing roots and you're going down into Mother Earth. I'm just going to do this quickly. Now, as you're going down into the center of Mother Earth, I want your higher self to show you something to be able to ground yourself with. So turn around and ground yourself to something right now. Now, what I want you to be able to do is I just want you to feel the love you have for self right now. Feel that love and know that you are worthy of love because you are love. And I want you to feel that love. And I want you now to push it down through your roots into the center of Gaia and just vibe with her. Feel her heartbeat, feeling the love. Now allow her to send those vibrations back up to you here as you sit here and you, you feel that love coming through. Just feel it. Now take that love and send it back to her and go down, back into the center of Gaia. And just feel the heartbeat of Gaia. Feel the love channeling between the two of you. Now take that energy now and shoot it back up through yourself and send it out into the cosmos and allow it to connect with higher self and all of those that are working with us in the higher vibrations. Now take that love that you have with your higher self and channel it back through yourself and back down into Gaia. Now feel that energy coming back up and just sit for a moment. How much better do you feel? And we just did this very quickly. I mean, I wouldn't recommend that you just jump right into it like that, but you can. This is just kind of showing you how easy this is to do, that it takes you a couple of minutes to ground with Gaia, 
send the love up and down between the two of you and send it up into the cosmos so that it can channel back down through you so that you are now becoming the bridge between heaven and earth. Because remember, the higher self and the cosmos is in 5D, channeling through you in a 3D vehicle, 3D reality vehicle, going into Gaia, which is in a 4D vibration. So see the beauty of this and how we can become the bridge to help all of humanity feel that love that we have here available to all of us. It is here available for all of us to tap into. But most people do not understand how to do this. And that's where we, the twins, are going to start to step into play. So please, again, this is about you knowing that it doesn't matter where you are in your journey, my friends. My 20s, my 20s, my 20s. Please know you are exactly where you need to be, helping the people you need to help, transmuting the lower vibrations so that we can create the heaven on earth that we know we are here to do. So I just want you to take a deep breath. And when you open up your eyes, when you do this kind of work, remember you could get dizzy or you could feel lightheaded. And this is just because you've been doing some cell work. Here you are raising the vibrations at a cell level, working with Gaia and the cosmos. So, of course, you may feel a little lightheaded because when you, it doesn't take long to rewire the vibrations within you. Again, that's why we're saying that you are a human being with emotions and all of a sudden if the boys have to come out to play and they jump on you and you're like, whoa, do you know that you have the ability to say, you know what, thank you very much for showing your little ugly little head and now I'm going to vibrate love on you knowing that you cannot take me down, that you need to work with me so we can create the heaven on earth that everybody is here to experience. So I hope this is making sense to all of you and just the importance of who you are as a twin. And there's too many people that are questioning every little thing that's happening. Just remember that you and twin are one. And whatever you are vibrating on could vibrate to them to make them vibrate the same thing. Okay, so if you're stressed out and you're vibing out, you're stressed out on a certain situation and you're stressing and stressing and stressing, you know, twins probably stressing and stressing and stressing about a situation or a person as well, but not the same thing, but you're both feeding the stress. So, you know, don't put twin down. This is the one thing that too many people do, and I know, I know it's hard not to. But do not put the twin down because the twin is doing exactly what twin needs to do in their own reality, regardless if you're with them or not. So those twins that are already physically together, you already know this, that, you know, you're working on certain things, twins working on certain things, um, but you're doing it separately. You're giving yourselves each other time so that when you're back together in the physical, you're, you're vibing on that bliss. You're vibing on that clear channel that you've just released of the lower vibrations. So again, this is all energy work. And too many people believe that by picking up the phone or showing up at their twin's door that things will change. It won't. Please allow this to happen naturally on an energetic level. If your soul is telling you to reach out to twin then be, by all means, reach out to them. But think about what stage you're at and why are you truly doing this? And what stage is twin at? And if twin, you know if twin's asleep or still doesn't under, understand any of this, why would you send them a letter saying, guess what, I'm your twin? And this is what this all means. Because you're going to put them into soul shock and they're going to think you're absolutely crazy. Okay, so this is where the masculine energy, this could be somebody who's very masculine and saying this person has no logic whatsoever, but of course they wouldn't see logic in this because they haven't tapped into the higher self and been able to val to balance the masculine with the feminine to be able to give a response of soul to say, oh my gosh, okay, I do understand what this person is saying and maybe I will reach out. But again, it will happen in divine timing. So don't try and force any of this. This is one thing that a lot of twins do, and they shouldn't be doing that. So I know we're going off to a commercial break. So when we get back, um, we'll see what, twins, what twin information Spirit wants to share with all of you, and I probably believe we're going to go into the flip. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back, and we'll go deeper into how this flip all works. Take care. Be right back. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com 
and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. When Dad needed help getting around, I became his driver. Soon enough, it was up to me to be his housekeeper and financial manager, too. When he moved in, I became his cook and even his nurse. But no matter what roles I play, I know I'm still his daughter. We understand the roles you play. So to help, we created aarp.org slash caregiving, where you can connect with experts and other caregivers. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio, where today I was guided to dedicate the show to those in divine union and allow them to understand just how important they are in this great global energy shift that's about to take place. Now, we also want to know, I want to explain to people that we also have the 1111 portal that's going to be coming up later this week. And I don't want to get too deep into this, but when you think about the 1111 portal, what it's all about, it's about sending into higher frequencies. And I know for twins, as the one one, this is the two coming together as one. So this is when one flame and the other flame are walking through to create the third flame, which is the 5D flame. But in order to light up the 5D flame, you know, twins must be in the vibration of 5D to be able to do this. Now, you don't need to be there 24-7, seven days a week. Okay, this is about you being that bridge and connecting your heaven on earth through you and lighting up the flame so that it's lit so that the two of you can actually work with the 5D energies to pull out of the lower vibrations. But again, each twin must do this themselves. And this porthole that's coming up on 11.11 is also going to allow us to have, you know, other significance to it. This is about us tapping into soul at a deeper level. And 11.11 is called Remembrance Day. And see this as a twin journey that you are here to remember that which you already know. So this porthole will allow you to start to remember more that which you already know if the vibrations are in the frequency of love and you know again i don't want people i i don't know what's going on out there in social media um as a channel i stay away from reading other stuff that's being said or videos or you know i, I just don't get involved with other twin stuff just because i'm a simply a channel and i don't want to interfere my channel with what other people are saying but if you follow lots of people You'll notice that those that are part of your soul family, you'll be able to take one message and another message and put it together and it will create a bigger picture. But the message is always the same. It's just spoken in a different way. Okay, so this is where you need to listen to soul with what resonates with you. And along the journey, you may follow somebody and then figure out that, you know what? Soul doesn't really need that information anymore. Soul is going into soul self and going to start doing the journey. And that's one thing I'm noticing as twins are starting to illuminate that they are now stepping into full mission of self and listening to soul to what it is that they need to do for self. They're not really listening to what other people have to say anymore. And again, there is no wrong or right to this. If you listen to people or if you don't listen to people, don't see the duality in this. Everybody is being pulled exactly where they need to be to be able to wake up the soul of that which it already knows And this goes into the whole DNA upgrades that are taking place. And just in a nutshell here, I'm not going to get into this. You know, we had two DNA strands that have been working with us forever. And then we have these 10 DNA strands that were considered junk DNA that are starting to wake up with the new energies. But these are these so-called junk DNAs are actually connected to higher self and higher consciousness. So you wonder why they call them junk to begin with. So do know that only most people have two to three strands that they're working with the new. Again, they're not all lit up. This is a process, not a race. But again, it just goes to show you that there's so much happening on a DNA cell level that we need to be patient with that because we are used to having 3D instant manifestation to say, I want it and I want it now. I want to know what's going on. Where is it going? What is happening? What are they up to? Why are they doing this? And this is when the ego starts to take over and we have to stop questioning because if you are asking these types of questions, 
You're not living in the moment, my friend. Okay, we are living in the moment and we have the ability to co-create a beautiful reality for each one of us. And the only way to do this is to be able to shoot out to the to the universe these beautiful vibrations of love and not have expectations attached to them. Because if we are in the new and none of us have been through this before, how could you possibly create heaven on earth if you don't understand it on a 3D level right now what heaven on earth truly is? Okay, so think about this. You know, what you may think is what your soul desires in this magical way could be very little to what the true of what that could be. It could be a gazillion times better than what you could ever imagine because you don't have the capability to create that yet because we're very still much in the new earth as we're shifting in energy. So we don't remember yet. This is all new. We've only been here for a very short period of time, my friends. Okay, so when you start to vibrate on your golden nuggets of gems, and if you don't know what those are, go to my website, kerryturcott.com, roll over home, and click on Vibersize. Those are exercises to help you raise your vibrations and do the condo in my head exercise. Take time to do the eviction notices before you do the burnings, okay, because that's where you find the golden nuggets and gems. That's where you find the repeated patterns, and this is how you're able to break free of this so that you can move forward. So when you're vibing on those beautiful feelings that you soul desires, you can throw those vibrations out and then the universe can turn around and work their magic to bring those vibrations into your reality, but in a completely different way than you could have ever created. Because imagination can be a pretty cruel thing to some of us sometimes, because how many times have you turned around and said, oh, twins doing this, and then you find out down the road that you were so far off, you weren't even close. You know, this happens all the time in everyday life. How many times has somebody sent you a message and then you responded back and then they didn't get back to you the next day and you start assuming why they didn't get back to you? When when you find out truth, it's nowhere near what you thought you had assumed that it was. So, again, assuming something can be very dangerous. And, again, this is the way we've been programmed. This is part of the rewiring program that we're going through, and this is part of one of the energy fields, which is the mental Again, we have so many different layers of energy that we must clear the lower vibrations from so that we can shift into the higher vibrations. And, you know, some people want to get into this, again, instant manifestation. I want it and I want it now. You have to understand you can't vibrate that anyway. Sure, you can manifest instantaneously, but it must be in the vibration of love. And whatever it is that you're trying to vibrate into your life, you want to ensure you're doing it on behalf of humanity. You're not doing it for your own selfish reasons. Oh, I want to be with twin because I want to be able to live happily ever after. No, there's a bigger picture to this, that if twin and I are meant to come together, twin and I are coming together to bring the knowledge and wisdom that we have, that we've learned on our own reality journeys so far, to bring that wisdom together, not only to intertwine that wisdom and knowledge, but to be able to tap into other wisdom and knowledge information that is waiting there for the twins to tap into to help Gaia on a global level. This is what we are here to do. And that's why I'm saying go back to the basic that whatever you're doing right now, I don't care if all you're doing is just vibing on yourself and you're out there smiling with the people at work and, you know, if somebody says something negative, you turn around in a positive. Do know you're doing exactly what you need to do. Do not put yourself down and say, well, you know what? I I can't believe that Carrie's saying this because Carrie's there and I'm here. You are where you need to be and you need to remember this. This is so important right now because whatever you're dealing with or whatever you're going through, you are trying to clear that through your own vessel. But at the same time, how many people on Gaia are going through the same thing that you're probably transmuting for them at the same time? Again, bigger picture, my friends. Now, you do know that, you know, this is like being on a roller coaster. Okay, we have our ups and we downs. We're all over the place. One day we're feeling fabulous. The next day we're like, ooh, what's going on? And this has a big part to do with flipping of energies. And I really don't have a lot of time to explain this, but in a nutshell, what is happening is as we start to raise our vibrations, the energies between twins start to shift back and forth. This is called the flipping of energy. And it's to help one another with the areas of soul that soul is still struggling with. So I'll use myself as an example. Okay, I'm just making this up, but this is me. Okay, so here I am, and maybe I'm struggling with um, not being able to stand up for myself. Okay, and, 
you know, twin is already taking care of that, does it all the time. And I'm really struggling and soul is going, oh my gosh, like, you know, Carrie's going to go into a tailspin if we don't do something about it. So it's almost like soul flips and says, okay, twin knows how to do this. So here's twin's energy. Twin's energy is going to help raise the vibrations within you. Okay. Again, they can't crawl into your psyche. This is just all vibrations to raise the vibrations so that your boys cannot get the best of you like they have been. It's to help you understand that to see the clarity that's there. And I know that within my journey, I've gotten to the, it's like you start on the, the spiritual level and you work your way in. When you're illuminated, you start to deal with the physical level. Okay. There are times when I go into a flip and I feel something on a physical level that my twin deals with, but I know that it's, he's dealing with whatever this physical element is and he his his body's tired. It's like, I need some help here because I don't have the same physical element. So when I start to feel that I can work on it, I can work with the energy. I can fill it with a love. And so that when the energy goes back in some way, the vibrations will be higher. So he will not feel that physical element the way he felt prior to the flip. Now do know that when the flips take place, both twins are not in a yucky place. One twin will be high as a kite and the other twin will be dealing with the fear, worry, doubt, whatever it is that they are, you know, working with other twin to help. And again, this is to be able to help you become better as um, two different, okay, you're two different um, vessels, but you're able to create the energy that's higher, that's bringing you into the vibration of love, which is the 5D flame that we are stepping into. So, I know that was very quick that I had to explain this to you, but again, I'm sorry, this is a radio show. I'm trying to get as much as information in here as possible. Just know that the roller coaster that we're all on, see yourself on a metal roller coaster that you're going through the loops, things are happening, you're up and all over the place, but you know what? At the end of the day, it's going to be a smooth ride and you're going to be okay at the end. Don't see yourself on a wooden roller coaster where you're getting jumped and rupt and all over the place and at the end of the ride, you're all bruised and all blown up, okay? Metal roller coasters, see this quick and easy and no that the love starts within you, that you, when you vibrate love, will raise the vibrations within twin automatically, okay? Again, don't assume you are because you are one soul. So again, you cannot crawl into their physical body and start thinking for them or making them feel different, but on an energetic level, you can help them raise their, themselves. So when we get back, we'll do the weekly um, reading and whatever it is that Spirit wants to tie this up with. I'll be right back. Take care. Bringing you the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Dr. Kevin here, and I want to invite you every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, to join me on The Dr. Kevin Show, where we have a diversity of guests who help you step outside the box, behind the curtain, and see what a load of crap is going on in the world today, so you have more information with which to make better decisions. We'll see you there. Namaste. Hello, I'm John Lithgow. Manatees are unique among the most amazing animals on Earth, but they're endangered. We pose the greatest threat to their survival. Many manatees are killed or injured by boats or other recreational activities. I'm a writer of children's books, including one about manatees, and I believe education is the key. You can be part of the solution. Please contact Save the Manatee Club right now. Call 1-800-432-JOIN. Thank you. Welcome back to Vibe Nation Radio, where today I have been guided to speak directly to those in Divine Union, better known as Twin Flames, on how to, you know, walk into this great global energy shift with confidence, knowing that you are an extremely powerful soul and that you are here to help raise the vibrations of this planet and help all of humanity. And, of course, my dad's here in, in 
you know, laughing and singing and dancing in my head. And, you know, I'm going to get into something in a second that he wants me to share with you. But it's almost like I, I want people to understand that the vibrations I'm picking up from spirit right now is saying that those that have listened in, you are really starting to see that you're getting on this, you know, journey of love. This, this is about a love journey that you can create from inside out. And that by you doing your part, by every one vibration you send to Gaia in love, she sends you 10 back. Well, it's the same with Gaia and the higher self or the spirit world. You send them one love vibe, spirit sends you 10 back. So think about the power of that. If spirit can work with Gaia and they're both throwing you back 10 times the love that you're throwing them, what a beautiful you know, beacon of love and light are you going to become? And this is saying, they're saying to you that, you know, they know you're ready to get into action, to share the love, but allow the truth to come to the surface and allow the universe to hear your message of love to self, okay? Don't allow your vibrations to be affected about the love that's not taking place on this planet because so many people have their guard up right now and they don't know what is about to take place, so they're feeding fear. So spirit is saying you let down the fear for them, okay? Stand up in power and know that through patience, we are going to get through this that so many people are about to wake on a global level. But again, this is going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. We all know this. This is a process, not a race. However, there's a lot more people that are in the light right now than ever before. So that if we can come and join together and we can create the bridge from heaven to earth and bring in this energy, channel this energy through you into Gaia, just think of how wonderful and how quick some of these people are going to wake up to it because when we were all waking up, the intensity of the energy of stepping into the light was not as powerful. It is so powerful right now. People just need to understand that when you let go of fear, the love is right there for the taking. So live in the moment, they're saying. Embrace the moment, knowing that when you vibrate love, the love vibrations will become your reality, but without putting too much expectations of what you desire. Let them know what it is that you desire, but don't get to, you know, if you need a, a vehicle to drive in, just throw out a vehicle and allow them to create the magic so that you're not put in expectations because whatever you're expecting, how do you know that spirit's not going to bring you something that's going to actually make you feel more blissful in return? You don't. You're just assuming. So, again, this is where we have to have faith and we need to work with Gaia and we need to work with the higher self and we need to work with the cosmos because, why do you think we're tapping into 5D energies, my friend? So that we can work with the spirit world because we cannot do this on our own. We have to have faith. We have to believe that we are one. And when we come together in power as unity, as one, we can create this ripple effect of love that will squish the fear on this planet. And again, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are doing exactly what you need to do in the bigger picture right now. And spirit just wants to remind you that you know, our children and our animals are also being affected by this. So we need to spend extra time with them. If you have children, be with your children. Have fun with your children. Allow the little kid to come out and play because that is such a beautiful vibration you can send out to the universe. And most adults get caught up in everyday life, and they don't allow the inner child to come out to play. So our little children are like little glow worms, and they are sucking up this energy just as intensely as we are. But remember, they're purer than we are. So this will affect them. So I know that I have a teenage son and he feeds the, when the energy gets really intense of the anger and frustration on this planet, you know, I really have to work with him to be able to make sure that stays released because he can suck it up so quickly because he's very young. Again, he's 18, but he's still young in the bigger scheme of things. And then you think of the little ones. If you have a little one at home, are they becoming very, you know, mommy, 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 daddy, 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 whatever. And they're like little friggin' suction cups and they won't leave you. It's because they want to give you love because they can feel you need the love, but they're also feeling love through you to them. Okay? And animals will be affected. You know, I, I'm seeing some animals that are having, like, you know, anxiety attacks or, you know, they go to walk into something not realizing it's even there. And, again, you need to know that they're shifting in vibrations too, and the animals and the children are already in the higher frequencies. So really pay attention to what's going on around you. Remember, whatever happens, in this global election, do not feed the lions and tigers and bears that have been hanging out in these circuses. Take control of your monkeys and know that the best thing you can do for yourself and all of Gaia 
is to focus on the love you have for self, the focus of the love you have for twin, letting go of duality, letting go that they live in separate reality or they are doing something with somebody else or they're working with someone or they're living with somebody or they're sleeping with somebody. Who cares? You know what? Again, let go of all that for right now. Do this on behalf of humanity. That's why the twin flames are here. We are here to help humanity. We're here on a mission. So if you take this mission seriously and you really work hard on self, do you not think that your higher self would reward you with something beautiful after going through all of this? Of course it would. You know, so you have to have faith in the deep of your soul that if you and twin are meant to reunite, you will reunite and you will reunite exactly when you need to reunite. This does not mean during this time that people are not going to have a connection with twin, that they're not going to go to a different level. So if you don't have contact with your twin and all of a sudden you do, or all of a sudden you have contact with twin, but now you've got the physical contact that you're meeting up or you're stepping into a relationship or you're moving in or you're getting married. Again, there's twins at all different levels around the planet, but the bulk of the twins are not together in union with twin yet. So we need to understand there's a reason for this and don't get disappointed and go, oh my gosh, 11-11 has come and gone and I didn't reunite with my twin. Please don't feed that. Whenever you're supposed to meet with twin and reunite, it will take place. Just remember, the clearer the vessel, the more blissful the reunion will be. So please understand, my friends, that you know, there is no wrong or right to this journey. Do exactly what your soul is telling you to do. Listen to your soul, okay? And anything that you read, listen, or watch that does not resonate with your soul, let it go. But let it go in the frequency of love, knowing that, you know what, it might not be for you to hear on your soul journey, but it doesn't mean the next person reading it, it's going to be the same, okay? Remember, we're all on different journeys, taking in as much information as we can, in many different areas because we have billions of people that we need to help. And again, think about the bigger picture. If we're all here to help humanity and we all have 50 million people to work with ourselves, never mind the lineage energy and everything else that goes along with it. Pull up your big boy and big girl, you know, twin panties, and know that we're here in unity together as oneness to show the world what true love is truly all about, to let go of this 3D so-called love that we've created because it's not love. It's an illusion. So let's help shatter this and allow those that are waking up during this mass global awakening to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, that we've been through it, that we're here to help them. Do not feed the dark. That's all I have to say. So next week, I want you to know that Spirit has guided me for the next few weeks to start standing with Standing Rock. And I am working in conjunction with some very cool people right now. And please know that Vibe Nation Radio is in the moment as much as possible, as you can now see that. It's almost like I'm working week to week about what it is that we need to talk about. But again, I'm trying to show, by example, that we need to live in the moment as much as possible. And Standing Rock is huge right now. So do know that I have some pretty cool guests that are going to be coming on my show over the next couple of weeks. And we are going to be standing with Standing Rock. And I don't know how many series or how many episodes we're going to do with regards to Standing Rock, but do know there's at least a couple of them coming. And I'm sure that it will keep coming as long as we need to be able to work in union as one so that humanity can truly see what is happening out there and how we have to come together as one. Now, before we go, I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested in coming part of my mentoring program, I get a lot of these emails. Do know that right now I only have a couple spots available. But if you send me an email from my website, terryturcott.com, and put VNR, so Vibe Nation Radio, mentoring, and you do this within the next week, I will give you 20% off of my four-week mentoring program. And I'm doing this to give back to all of you. If you're serious about your twin journey and you want to take back your power, come work with me. You know, you don't work with me forever. There are many, many, many people that have come through my mentoring program and have come and gone, and they're out there sharing their magic and sharing their wisdom with the world because there's too many of us that need to be able to go out there and share our wisdom and knowledge because there's too many people on this planet waking up. So if you want to invest in yourself and you feel you're worthy of whatever it is your soul's calling you to do, remember I have the ability to tap into your higher self and guide you through this. And this is your soul journey, not mine. So 20% off if you want to sign up by the end of this week. So until the next radio show, 
20% off anybody who wants to join my mentoring program. So remember this week, embrace the unknown, have faith that the power up above knows what they're doing. But in order for them to be able to create this heaven on earth here in our present day, we need to work with them. We need to show them those vibrations of love. Let them feel them, feel the peace, feel the love, feel oneness, feel clean water, feel children or see children singing and laughing and bringing back the inner child in all of us. This is the kind of stuff the spirit wants you, the twins, to be vibrating on because you vibrate at a much higher frequency. So when you vibrate the vibration of love, it is so much more stronger than those that are collective. And because the collective is caught up in the lower vibrations and they're getting involved in the circus, please know that they need us so that we can help them understand this is not a circus. This is reality. And together we stand in peace and harmony and love to be able to create the heaven on earth that we're all so worthy of experiencing. So um, I hope that helps all of you understand what's going on with the chin, twin journey, the masculine and the feminine, the shifting going back and forth. And my dad just wants to end it off in this. Singing, laughing, and dancing is so much fun. It is the easiest way to raise your vibrations. And since my dad is big into music and he loves the Bee Gees, he wants to know which song are you dancing to right now? Are you dancing to How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees? Or are you dancing to Staying Alive by the Bee Gees? Or maybe Tragedy? Or are you dancing and saying you should be dancing? Which one of those songs are you dancing to, my friend? Pick a song, enjoy your love, but do know that we are all made of love and we're here to experience love. Remember, you and Twin are one, always have been one, and always will be one. Feel the love this week, my friend, and I'll see you next week where we're standing with Danny Rock. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.